Yo, what up everyone? Amir Rahim here, owner of Rapping and Snacking, getting into another Collector's Corner video. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rapping and Snacking. I do giveaways, all that stuff. So y'all just join in, hop in, and, and follow me there, and I show all my collection. So we got a few things here. I was recently in Chicago. Uh, if y'all follow my page and stuff, you'll see that I was there. But the uh, reason why I bring that up is because I got a few things from some of the shops in Chicago. So going to detail those as well as some other things that I got online. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing right here, this is something that I did an unboxing for already. Uh, so peep that out if you haven't. I'll go in detail in there. But this is Kendrick Lamar's box set for Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers limited edition box set came with a shirt as well as a cd i'm not going to open it because i already did that in the unboxing but this is just your reminder to go ahead and check that out i'll link it up next up we got something that i bought online this is exhibits man vs machine cassette tape bought this on discogs for 27 dollars shipped um to be honest with you the medium price on discogs i believe was ten dollars before shipping um for the median price and so this one is $20 before shipping. And I think that this tape will eventually go up more in value because it is a 2000s tape, a 2002. And usually those tapes go up for more. And I just think that's what's going to happen. So I made sure to cop this one. I saw it. Also a big fan of Exhibit, so I didn't want to miss out. So pick that one pick that one up on Discogs. Sometimes I will buy things if I see or if I believe that the trend will go up just because I don't want to miss the boat and have to pay even more because that has happened in the past and you live and you learn. So that's what I do with Exhibits Man vs. Machine. Next up, this actually was given to me by my homie Soren Baker, who I do the great debaters with, and he's just a good friend of mine. Uh, he gave me Young Buck of Psychodrama, now known as Buck, his album right here, The Deep End. And yeah, he just blessed me with this. I actually never had seen it before, so shout out to him for that uh pick got that one for free next up another discogs grab this one uh was for six dollars ship this is the pump you fist soundtrack and it's a soundtrack that is <clears throat> inspired by the black panther movement so this is actually really cool because i bet a lot of people have not heard the songs from this uh and let me just name some of the people on here so y'all can not sleep and go ahead and listen to this so just peep some of the people who are on here we have krs1 we have cam we have grand pooba we have rock kim we have j Roo the damager we have tupac we have fujis it just goes on and on and on and obviously you're gonna expect like chuck d on, on a on an album like this but you know, you got like those superstar names. And this is, like I said, a compilation that I'd never hear anyone talking about. So honestly, just off the rip, you don't have to like listen to anything. Just all those names, you can go ahead and buy this. I bought it for $6 shipped. So you ain't going to break the bank for that. Check that one out for sure. Next up, <clears throat> got this from um, eBay. And I also did an unboxing for this. This is an E40 bobblehead in here. I'm not going to open it up because you can click the link where I do open it up and show everything, gotta do some self promo, click that, appreciate y'all. But anyways, this is really cool because they're, I believe only 15,000 made and they're only given at San Francisco Giants games. I'm wearing a Dodgers hat, I'm not a Giants fan, but I'm a bigger rap fan than I am a baseball fan, so I had to get it. And anyways, pretty dope bobblehead, I'm gonna put it up uh, on my shelf for show. Hopefully there's a hip hop uh, bobblehead for the daughter soon maybe kendrick maybe someone else hope we get to see that so i can put it next to it and offset that but got that one for 77 dollars shipped if i recall or 73 dollars shipped from ebay i'm already forgetting uh there are two versions of that as well i have the one without the um, voice feature next up this is some stuff that i got from chicago so first off let's start with the smallest bundle right here this is from reckless records in chicago picked these up for 14 and 30 dollars total there are three cds here two cd singles and one compilation first cd single we got is public enemies hazy shade of criminal boom 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 very controversial um cover uh and it also has the track on here ty goes to the runner as well as you know instrumentals and blah 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 but super, super dope stuff right here, Public Enemy. And the CD disc artwork is crazy. I'm not going to go ahead and show that because I don't want to get a, <laughs> uh, any sort of demonetation going on. Next up, we have MC8's Automatic and the hood still took me under right here. 
dope stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, and then the Hazy Shade of Criminal, to be specific, since it says on the receipt, was $4.99. This MC8 is $3.99. And then this right here is $3.99. The Lil John and the Eastside Boys Certified Crunk. This is a compilation from Ichiban and Mirror Image Records, or Mirror Image Entertainment. And, yeah, it's just a compilation of stuff. And, um, yeah, when did it drop, actually? Does it even say on here? Doesn't say. It may say somewhere in here. But I remember uh, this image, I think, is used on the Get Crunk Who You Wit album. Pretty certain this was used on there. So, um, yeah, pick this one up. Certified Crunk, the remix, Lil John and the East Side Boys. That was from Reckless Records in Chicago. Now another thing that I got from Chicago is actually from another Restless Records. So there's a few Restless Records in Chicago, and um, it says on, or sorry, not Restless Records, Reckless Records. I butchered that, my bad. There are multiple Reckless Records in Chicago, and on the receipt it says Reckless Records of London. So I'm not sure if Reckless Records originated in London. I'm not entirely certain. This one is in Belmont. The other one was in Wicker Park. So those are the two that I went to in Chicago. This one, I bought more things. So this one, I got Rock Kim's Guess Who's Back right here, uh, the song. But what's cool about this is not only does it have the song Guess Who's Back, but on top of that, it also has Rock Him Speaks, which is actually like a uh, interview. And this is not present on the album. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, at least on the pressing that I have. So it's pretty cool to see stuff like that. It's like a little um, interview. It's four and a half minutes long. So love stuff like that. Guess who's back? That one was $3.99. Then we got the Digital Underground. Play what you like. Add who you like. Report whenever you like. CD sampler. So this is cool. On this sampler, it's got Underwater Rhymes, Packet Man, Worth a Packet Remix, and then the Freaks of the Industry, the Clean Edit. Uh, pick that one up. Boom, boom. Uh, ooh, how much was that joint? Can't find it on here. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember. It was just a couple bucks, so I think. Next up, we have Mad Skills from where? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't know why I said the question marks. Anyways, pick this one up as well. Um, and that was a pretty pretty dope purchase. I got this for $9.99. And by the way, the whole bundle was $107.99. I didn't say that already. So pick that one up. Shout out to Matt Skills. Next up, we got a CD that I actually hadn't seen. This is a compilation by Spice One called Spice One Hits 3. So I had never seen this one before. Um, and this says $7.99 is what I picked it up for. Uh, it's got a bunch of stuff on here. And it looks like... It looks like some uh, some Spice One features as well as other songs on here. But I'm not sure because I haven't popped this one in. But it says featuring Rap and Forte, Too Short, 3-6 Mafia, etc., etc., etc. And I know some of these are um, features. Next up, we have this is a CD that I've actually been looking for. Uh, and I got this one for $24.99. This is Too Short's The Graces Volume 1, The Player Years, 83 to 88. It's in one of those like thicker... A double I call these like a double jewel case I don't know what they're actually called but it's a double discard in this type of case so pick that up uh, been looking for this I'm happy I think that was a fair price it's got the rubber on the front interesting cover two shorts awesome next up we have DOC's Helter Skelter on cassette tape pick this one up as well uh, Helter Skelter was $4.99 then we get Boss's single Deeper on cassette tape right here Deeper was $3.99. Shout out to Boss Dope Female MC. Do not sleep on her. She's awesome. Peep out her album. And then we got, this is one of the dopest covers right here. This is Pooh Man, also known as MC Pooh. As uh, funky as I want to be right here. And you can just peep game on the cover where he's got the girl's legs in the air. This one was also $4.99. Shout out to MC Pooh, Pooh Man. Then we got some records. We got Schooly D's Saturday Night the Album. This is still sealed. It is a repress. And this was $17.99. I know my guy Soren Baker, if he's watching, he'll love this because Schooly D is his favorite rapper. So shout out to Soren. Boom, boom, boom. Still got the hype sticker on it as well. Then we got Cool Mo D's single, How You Like Me Now. Boom. Love this right here. This was $3.99. And then here's an album that I actually have not heard yet. This is uh, Teddy Pendergrass's album. Teddy, 
I bought this mainly because of um, the Freddie Gibbs album, Freddie. I knew that obviously drew inspiration from this, but I'm also excited to peep this one out and hear what I like. And on top of that, hear what some artists have sampled because I know this album has been sampled. So I'm excited to peep that one out. And I picked this one up for $9.99. So pretty cool stuff. Excited to peep that one out for show. So like I said, that whole uh, Reckless Records was $107.99. $107.99. So next up, we have the last place that I went to in Chicago, which is called Dusty Groove. And here I spent $56.15. So here we go. We got Lil Kiki's Platinum in the Ghetto right here. Um, this was $3.99. I have not heard this, so I just saw it, and I'm like, well, it's a little Kiki, I like him, so let's just pick it up and see if I like it or don't like it. So, boom, picked that one up. And the rest of the stuff that I got are vinyl records. This one being... This one being, uh... East Side is $14.99. I couldn't find it on the receipt. But $14.99 for the East Side is album. And you know it sucks, and this is one thing that I didn't realize till after I got it. This... I thought I was getting a great deal on it because $14.99 for this in great condition. I was like, oh, that's a show a deal. However, this is actually the clean version. And a lot of the times I don't look for the parental advisory sticker. Um, usually what will end up happening is, uh, you know, sometimes parental advisory sticker is on the plastic. Sometimes it's a sticker here and people take it off. Sometimes there's a sticker in some weird place so i don't always look for the sticker i mainly look for other things like condition of the record sometimes i'll look like obviously at the pressing and look up the pressing but i totally got bamboozled that this is clean and on top of that to kind of put context to the situation i was actually in a rush because we had um a, the architecture tour the boat anyone who lives in chicago would know this or has visited there's a tour that you go like through the city and then you see outside of the city you see the whole skyline it's really dope so i didn't want to run late to that so i was kind of rushing to get out of the record store so i didn't do my entire process like i usually do i kind of lost on this but it's okay uh 14.99 whatever um anyways it's clean though then we got 415. So this is actually another thing that I messed up on. This is 19.99. So uh, as most of you guys know, I do have a uh, spreadsheet where I do have all my physical releases. So all my vinyl, my CDs, my VHSs, my cassette tapes, anything that I have, it's in that spreadsheet. However, on this occasion, my spreadsheet was not loading um, in my Dropbox. So I'm gonna have to transfer to like Google Sheets or some crap because that's happened a few times now, so I kind of guessed. I wasn't sure if I had this or not. Turns out I did have it, so I spent $19.99, and I actually already have this, and I'm not a big fan of exact doubles, so I probably will end up selling this, um, but picked it up, 415. Uh, yeah, I was kind of annoyed, but it's okay. Next up, we got Illegal, Header Gut, and then We Gets Busy um, right here on the label sleeve record this is 2.99 boom 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 shout out to illegal and this one i also mess up i was just messing up all day when i was at dusty grooves and no uh no diss dusty groove that's me i wasn't on my a game and that happens you know you just gotta admit it take the l you know life's filled with w's and l's you just gotta take the go with the bad this one is mike jones and um mr jones so is the song so for some reason i thought like i was thinking this is back then um i thought it was a song back then because i don't really like the song mr jones i just thought it was back then for whatever reason maybe i just saw mike jones up here and then that's the first thing that came to my mind and i picked it up but anyways it was only 199 so it wasn't like a big deal but uh, i'm not a big fan of this song so whatever it is what it is next up we got mr grimm's um right here situation grim from the higher learning soundtrack and this one i got for 199 as well cd or cd single vinyl single didn't mess up on this one i wanted this i didn't have it so there's a w and then lastly another w would be project pat right here gold shine and choppers 
from his album Getty Green, an amazing album. Shout out to Project Pat. This was $4.99. Happy to get this on the label sleeve. Super, super, super dope stuff. And that's a phenomenal album by Project Pat, one of the better debut albums that I've ever heard by any artist. And that's all the stuff that I got. You know, I went to three record stores in Chicago. I got some stuff off Discogs, got some stuff from eBay. And that's it, you know what I mean? Box sets, blah, 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 CDs, tapes, vinyl. So anyways, y'all, let me know what y'all think. If y'all have any experiences that are relatable to mine, if y'all have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. Appreciate y'all as always for tuning in. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rappin' and Snackin', and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bless.